Alrighty. I said it was going to look similar. I lied. <laughs> I did have to do a very different type of apology. Just make it very simple. Just to show you uh, port security. Now, as you can see here, we have three uh, PCs. They all have their IPs. Their this is one nine two wants to say one dot one. And I'll show you. I'll just point at it. <laughs> okay. Do 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 do. Open that up here. All right, and uh, let's just take a look at it. One dot one. Then we have the other one. We should be one dot two. One dot two. Okay, lovely. And then the last one. Can you guess what that one's gonna be? Oops. One dot three. <clears throat> Come on, mouse. There you go. One dot three. Isn't it how funny that we blame the equipment? Before we blame ourselves. All right. So we're going to go to the switch. And then. And we're not going to really name it. Well, should we? Yeah, why not? Config T. Host name. Uh, SWX. Switch X. Okay. And what we're going to do is. Let's do WR. Ugh. Control Shift Six gets you out of that. Wr. Um, what we're gonna do is to look at the MAC address. Show MAC. Oh, come on, show MAC address table. All right. Uh, and hit enter. We have it learned already on port three one. I mean, it works funny, but we're gonna ping across so it has all the MAC addresses in there first. Okay. I don't really have to, but that's just the way I like to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and ping. We can just do it from one computer. We can ping 192.168.1.2, and then Control C, and then do uh, three, which is already there anyway. All right, so what should happen is because of the switch process, now I should have the three entries of all three MAC addresses for those ports. There they are. So for one, two, and three. They're the MAC address tables. Oh, they're the MAC addresses that came across from the PCs, right? It has the source MAC address of those PCs. So what we're going to do is we're going to set port security on those three ports. Because as you can see here, we have an evil hacker just hanging around, okay? So we're going to put port security. And we're only going to allow one MAC address because we rule with an iron fist, Okay, and we're not going to allow anybody to put any other PCs on there or any other device for that matter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put port security on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe config T. So we're going to go to the range of ports, int range F0 slash 1 dash 3 in this case. Okay, those are the only ones, the other ports will be left unsecured. All right, but really, if you want to, you put it on all ports, or you shut down the ports that you're not using. That would be the preferred way of doing it. So, int range f01-3. I'm in int range. So, before you can put port security on there, you must turn these ports into access ports. If not, you will get an error. So, I'm going to show you the error you're going to get. Switch port port hyphen security. Said, hey, 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 it's a dynamic port. You can't do that. Oh, whoops. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to do switch port mode access. Now I'm going to up arrow switch port port security. Enter. Now I've accepted it. All right, so I'm going to up arrow again. Now I tell it, okay, I don't want to say Mac sticky. What does Mac sticky mean? Mac sticky means that it will run it dynamically. But in the MAC address table, it will show up as a static entry. And it's stuck in there forever and ever until you take it out. All right. I'm going to up arrow again. The next thing I'm going to do, it's a maximum number of MAC addresses that I'm going to allow. And what did I say? Only one. Done. All right. And, well, not done. Done for that. Only one MAC address. And then we're going to put in violation. All right, what type of violation do you want to do? Do you want to restrict? Do you want to shut down? And I usually just do shut down. 
All right, which you'll see what happened. It'll turn if you try to swap computers with another one, it'll turn that port, it'll shut it down. But it's really called ERR disabled. And we'll do WR to copy that. Control C. Let's do show switch port security. Switch port TC. Oh, I always misspell it. Switch T show switch TC switch port port. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I know. Switch port hyphen security. Sorry. Switch port security. So what we have here, when you see that you're not, t it's not tabbing out. You know you're tapping something incorrect. All right. So here we have on these ports F zero one two and three, we have a maximum MAC address of one. Uh, current address count is not there. Any security validation is not there. What happens if there's a violation? Hey, there it is. So again, no big deal. Now we put the security on there now. So let's do let's redo the ping. Let's see what happens. One dot three, control C, one dot two. All right, control C. And let's go back to the switch and let's revisit that command. Control port security. Now you see it went from account of zero to account of one because I added the security after the MAC addresses were known. Okay, so now it says, okay, I got the MAC addresses that need to be on here. All right, that's it. One, 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 one. That's it. That's maximum. All right, there hasn't been any violations so far, but you know, hey, things happen, so we're good to go. All right, so let's see. Let's minimize this. Now here comes our sneaky hacker. He spoofed this guy's address, right? So I'm going to give him the same address that that guy has. 192.168.1.3. Boom. All right? 255. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this guy. All right? Because I unplugged him. I'm a sneaky guy. And bring the hacker in. And I'm going to go ahead and plug them in to port 3. All right. As you can see, Spanning Tree is doing its thing there. All right. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's see what happens. It's taking way too long. Even though Rapid Spanning Tree is in place already. But hey. That's okay. No problems. And you say, hey, we're all good. We're hey, we're, we're connected. But didn't we have port security on there? Well, let's see what happens when I ping. Ping 192.168.101. Uh-oh. You saw that turn red? That's why I left the box that way. Okay. Immediately, it turned that port into red. Say, well, wait a minute. You're not part of this. That's not your MAC address. Look what it said. Change administratively to down. Line protocol interface, change state to down. Right? So it, let's do a short port security. Boom. It found the violation right there on F03. Let's take a look at that port. Show interface F0 slash 3. And what do we see? The... Port is down. Line protocol is down. Error disabled. Now, I get questions that say, "Hey, lies." But what if we, uh, you know, are we actually going to get something to let us know, or we're going to be sitting here looking at the switch for things like that to happen? Obviously, you will have third-party software that will ring a bell, right? That will let you know what's going on. All right. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back and. Now we found the person. We're gonna take this guy out of commission. So let's go ahead and uh, delete this guy out of there. Put back the guy who it was. He's in the security room with the with the guards and the cops and all those people, right? And put this guy back in there. But hey, man, he's still down. What are you gonna do? You gotta you gotta restart that port. Okay, Control C. So we got to go inside that port, config T, interface F0, slash 0, or not 0, sorry, so you should type in that, 3. Uh, we got to do 
shut, no shut, and turns that port right back on. Okay, my you see it'll turn it right back on, not a problem. But you see how port security works, it's very good. All right, now you put the Mac sticky on there so you don't have to actually statically assign each one uh, in there. But hey, you know, this is a way that we can go and do port security. Now, port security, as far as the CCNA is concerned, they may ask you a question, especially on the show uh, port security command if there's been a violation or something like that. But as far as configuring port security, you're not going to get. Okay. And let's go back in here. And let's do show. Why should you just have it in memory there? There you go. Show port security. We're back to the same count and same violations. Now we reset it, our violations back to zero. So we have connectivity. We show that connectivity back and forth without an issue. Let's go ahead and ping from this PC. 192.168.1.0. And we have no issues whatsoever. So that is port security. Now, another thing that you want to look at, if you look at the MAC address table uh, as well, show MAC address table, you see that they turn from dynamic from earlier to static because of the sticky command. Even though I learned it dynamically, it put the entry in the MAC address table or the CAM table as a static entry because of the sticky command so here you go there's port security no big deal all right no big deal all right hope you're ready for the next one now we're going to do kind of put everything together and we're going to do inter vlan connectivity see you then